Hey guys, head on a spike here with a giant minifigure haul video. Now I know I just did one of these and uh, I just posted one on my channel, but this one is special because this is Brick Fair 2023. And boy, am I excited to show you guys all the crazy stuff I got. And man, is there a lot of it. I'm very happy with what I got this year. I got some really crazy stuff, which I cannot wait to show you guys. So without further ado, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. Also, I got this extra package, which just came today, which I'll show you. I'll probably do that at the end, because that's not even from Brick Fair. This stuff all is. So, let's take a look at all of the craziness. Here we go. All right. So, I cannot believe just how much stuff I got. I got so many figures, so much cool accessories, uh, things I never even thought I would get which I've been trying to get for ages. So let's start off with one of the craziest things I got. <laughs> this is from Brick Tactical. They, you guys might know, or might not know, but I am actually a huge Halo fan. And they, they actually made Lego grunts for the first time. And I thought that was the coolest thing ever. They're really cleverly made. They have these, like, these two parts to make their backpacks and these completely unique molded heads and arms. And uh, they both attach to like regular minifigure torsos. And they're all made with ABS plastic, just like actual Lego. And I thought it was like the, the coolest little thing I've ever seen. And not only that, but they also made for the first time ever, Elite from the Halo franchise, which I thought was also equally amazingly cool. So these things have so many different individual parts and pieces, like the little wrists and the chest, the head, uh, belt piece, and um, also the feet. The feet have the connecting pieces that like connect to like regular, uh, like uh, these like werewolf Lego legs, which are such a great idea for the elites. You could just be boring and give them regular legs and then put these feet on, but I like the the um, the extra mile of adding the actual legs i think they look really really great and they had other colors at least too they had all the other ones from halo fans out there they have blue red white gold silver uh they have each one of them so it's really cool that they made these i hope one of these days they make an actual arbiter minifigure i would totally buy that so if you guys are watching this brick tactical please make arbiter because i did for the first time ever uh, this year made master chief i made my own master chief took me a while to find all the pieces. All they had there to sell was the uh, helmet and the torso. I had to do the rest myself to find a minifigure with olive green arms and olive green legs. That took a while to find, but I finally did. I'm very, very happy with how he turned out. He looks great. I just gave him a black head because, you know, I want to honor Master Chief's identity. <laughs> and uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out. He, he looks so great with all, the, all three of these guys together. I, I'm really happy with how that looks. Uh, like uh, it looks like, like it's like a whole th like halo thing. Speaking of halo things, I can I guess now also show you my accessories, and some of them are halo, some of them are not. Uh, most of them are though, so I will show you those things first. Woo! All right, so as you can see, I'll go through the halo things first. I also these things. I got some plasma grenades for the uh, for the grunts to be like you know suicide grunts or just have you know. Master Chief throw some stickies because he always likes to do that. Uh, I got this beautiful fuel rod launcher. Look at that. Look at this piece. It's like uh, so intricately painted and like, oh, uh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece of work here. I love the actual fuel rod canisters on the top here. <laughs> and uh, the, the shiny gold, it, the reflection, it looks beautiful. And uh, let's see other Halo weapons. Oh, I got this. I got the, uh, the oddball. The oddball skull from Halo. And I got, let's see, I also got, oh, I got this nice new assault rifle, which is also painted and has different colors. I think this is like maybe the Halo Reach one. It looks very cool, much better than the other ones that, that, that they've made in the past because they're always just one single solid color. This is actual, like, you know, different colors and prints. Very nice. Uh, I got a silver or gunmetal brute shot. Which I literally like a lot more. I had like a black one last year, which is cool, but I like this one more because it's like, you know, more silver in the game than black. So I thought that was fun to get. 
And I got some other weapons that were just there. Uh, like I got these these brass knuckles, but they were pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, they're they're a uh, nice uh, gold material as well or gold color. I mean, if you're gonna say hold them right there and that little handle, that's, that's kind of fun. And uh, let's see, I think that's it for brick tactical. Oh wait, unless they made this thing, I forget. They made I, it might have been these guys. Also, yeah, brick tactical made um actual like custom lightsaber hilts. So I had to get an Anakin one because Anakin slash Luke slash Ray's lightsaber is my favorite one ever. So I might actually get the extra mile and get like a Sharpie and like a paint or, you know, color the uh, little black lines here to make them like like the hand grip that Anakin has, so like, like that nice black hand grip. I might experiment with that. It'll make it look even more authentic, but I love to have what they made with it so far. I think the rest I got here is not from Brick Tactical. They're just from other vendors I found. I found like these really cool swords. These like a uh, unique like uh, like Crusader swords. These would be like great for other custom characters like Aragorn or something. And I got like this like cool white one, which I think is actually authentic Lego. This isn't even a custom piece. I just never had a white one before. Uh, this cool little dagger. I don't have one like that, I don't think. This uh, like Morning Star. That was pretty sweet. That's a little bit for like, you know, for like a uh, Sauron. Or, or um, yeah, yeah for, for Sauron, he uses a mace. Witch King uses like a flail, but uh, Sauron uses a mace. Uh, found some gob stoppers or gob stutters. <laughs> I love these things. I found some blue milk for for Luke. <laughs> I thought that was a great piece to find. I really like that one. And I found a little piece of Beskar. I love this piece. This is a great, great piece uh, to have. I'm very happy that I found one of those. I think this is Ezra's lightsaber, but I'm not sure. It might be Rey's when she was like Sith Rey. I wasn't sure. I just thought it looked really cool, so I just picked that up. Uh, another cool little sword. This is gold, though. I don't have many gold swords in my collection, so that was fun to get. And I found this beautiful uh, rapier, which is like dual molded. See, look at that. It has like like a gunmetal uh, handle and like a silver blade. I thought that was so cool, even though it was like, you know, $7 for this one piece. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous work of art, I think. And it would look really great for, like, you know, a Princess Bride mock for uh, Niga Montoya or something. <laughs> I really like this piece. It's very cool. All right, <clears throat> enough about that. Actually, no, not quite. Still doing the, the less interesting stuff first. So here we go. This is some other just cool pieces that I found. Then I'll get into the figures. I know that's what you guys want to see the most, but I like going all through all the pieces first. So I got a random eight ball. <laughs> that was fun. It says like a no on the back, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Magic eight ball. Oh, this is for Groot, who I got, which is a minor spoiler. He, his little back fell off. I got a rubber chicken, because like, that was just too funny not to get. It's so random. I was like, <laughs> I was like why not? I found this poster of like a minifigure on fire. I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, some uh, pizza, deep dish pizza for like all the Chicago lovers, even though I'm more New York myself. But I still thought it was a fun uh, little piece to get other pizzas. I got all these animals I never got before, like a jackrabbit. I have a whole big animal collection one of these days I'll probably show. These little birdies, three little birds upon my doorstep. Yeah, I don't have these colors. So I have the blue one, but not the white and red. So. Uh, this is like a like a mongoose or like a ferret or something. I don't even know what it is, but I don't have that animal. Got a little sheep, so I, you can be sure that I'll buy right back. That was a horrible joke. Uh, <laughs> got a little elephant, but this is a nice one. Oh, he's like kind of pricey too. I forgot how much I paid, but yeah, he was pricey. But it's a cool, it's a cool little figure. And I got two monkeys who are you know just monkeying around, you know. And, uh, yeah, so that was fun. All right, now we're into figures. So, first things first, I will show that I got... Let's do some Marvel first. All right, Marvel figures I got. Since we already know that I got <laughs> the Groot. There he is. Here's the Groot. I don't have this Groot yet. I really love this Groot. I know he's, like, super common now, but... I still didn't have him. It's like the Christmas tree Groot. And I'm probably not going to keep him like this. I'm going to just like remove the back plating because I like the figure just as he is. 
But I, I love this printing. I always have since he first came out back in like Infinity War. And I just never got him. So I got him for like a really good deal. It was on like 10 bucks, I think, for this time. So yeah, I, I, I was really happy to get him. Maybe it would have been just 8 bucks, I think, actually. So I got that Groot. I got Adam Warlock, who I really, really wanted. He was expensive. He was like 50 bucks. But uh, what I did was, I think, to get both these figures, I traded uh, an OG, like 2002 Yoda along with uh, 1999 Darth Vader, and the guy just gave me both of these for both of those, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. I love this figure. It's a beautiful figure. I didn't get around to buying the whole set, so I didn't really go to eBay yet to buy him, so I was really happy to get him, just the figure by himself. I love those reflective paintings. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then the other Marvel figure I got is Endgame Captain America, <laughs> when he has the uh, Mjolnir and the uh, shield. He was really cheap. He was only like 12 bucks or... Eight, ten bucks or something, so I was happy to get him. I'm not even sure I have this shield, this version of Captain America's shield in my collection, so I was happy to get this. And I've been looking for uh, an endgame Captain America for a while now. And I like like the little strap on his chin, because I don't have any of it like that. That's a really cool print. He has like a like, nice little happy face in the back. I don't even have this cowl yet in my collection. I was like, I don't even have that. I was like, what? what's wrong with me? So, really happy to get that one. Alright, so that is the Marvel stuff that over there and I'm gonna say the best stuff for last because that's how I do it uh, let's do a little bit of Harry Potter so the first figure here I actually got the day before Brick Fair this one this is just a uh, Professor Flitwick I got this from Tashi Station which is a new store which just came out with this, this certain branch there's Tashi Station there's Tashi Station Rebel Base and yes it is the Tashi Station that like Luke Skywalker refers to you guys should check this place out it's really great uh, they had tons of Lego stuff, tons of action figures, and uh, not just Star Wars. It's like comic books. It's like Marvel stuff, DC stuff, Pokemon stuff, comics, uh, games, toys, as it says on the card. And the one where I got Flitwick was uh, over here in Echo Base. I love these cards, too. Even the cards are cool. So check these out. They're, uh, as you can see, this is in Centerville. The other one is in Springfield, Virginia. So if you guys are in the Virginia area, check it out. It is very close to where Brick Fair was held this year in the Dallas Expo Center. So that's my little plug for those guys because they are pretty awesome. Um, yep, and I got Professor Flip. Like, I love this torso. I really like this like reflective print. And I, I don't have a Butterbeer piece, so <laughs> but it was fun to get. Um, so that's not from... Brick Fair, so I still want to listen to anyway. But it is from Brick Fair, are these two characters. And this basically completes my entire Harry Potter collection, which is why I wanted these guys. I got Lily and James Potter. I just never got around to getting them in like the old days when these guys first came out. And uh, now I'm, I finally got them, so I was happy to get them. I got Lily for just like trading a single 2008 clone trooper. I thought that was a really good deal. And then uh, James here was only like 10 bucks, so that was also a pretty good deal, I thought. Alrighty, now we're going on to some little bit more crazy stuff. Here is the Grand Inquisitor, who I didn't have. I really wanted him ever since the Kenobi show came out, and when I watched Rebels, I was like, well, this is another really awesome character to have. I actually found him a uh, custom lightsaber. I also got this from Brick Tactical. This looks so much better than the uh, the authentic Lego one. I'm so happy to have this piece because I actually never got one. Even though I bought a Riva on eBay, I didn't get the actual lightsaber which was kind of annoying i got it off bricklink actually i got her off bricklink not uh ebay but um i didn't get the lightsaber and i was like bob saget i wanted to get that as well so it's a good thing i have two now so now i can give reva one i can give her the lame one and grand inquisitor the cool one so i thought it was a pretty great figure to get i've been wanting him for a very long time and up next we have mr bane Mr. Cad Bane, as you can see, was $50, but I uh, traded him to make him free for me, actually. I traded him, I traded, like, uh, some other clone troopers, I think, that I had. I had a whole bunch of clone troopers this year, so I was happy to do that. And this is such a gorgeous figure, like, my goodness. Look at, look at this printing. Like, I just didn't get around to buying the set because it is also really expensive. I bought all the figures that I wanted. Like, I got Omega and the Bad Batch, which I showed in a different video. I I absolutely love this figure. Uh, it's such it's I like it so much more than the other ones that we've gotten of Cad Bane. So really really happy I got this one. I was looking for him for ages. Legends of the Grand Inquisitor. He was like on my must get list because I've been looking for them for so long. Now I will show you two more crazy figures I got. 
I got the Series 2 Sabine Wren. She was 50 bucks, and I got her for free by trading a ton of other stuff, which took forever. But this really nice guy with a crazy awesome mustache, I totally forget his name. But uh, it was like, we were like literally like 15 minutes before closing of uh, Bricklink, uh, Brick, uh, Brick Fair, sorry. There was like 15 minutes, then it was 10 minutes, then it was 5 minutes left until like the entire place closes. And he was still sorting all my figures to see what would be a fair trade for this Sabine. So I admire that guy's patience. Shout out to you, awesome mustache guy, whatever your name is. I feel like it was Kent, but I'm not sure. Um, super nice guy for being so patient with me and looking through all my stuff to like find what would be fair to get this gorgeous figure which is only going up in value and i have the other sabine wren with the with the helmet and she's in mint condition and i i love rebels so much i just wanted, wanted to like get all the other rebels characters which is why i got this guy quarry he was only in one episode in rebels but it was a really cool episode it was when Hera was getting that b-wing and testing it out for the first time uh and he wasn't even in a Rebels set. He was in a, um, uh, like, the the Freemaker series and, like, the Lego show. I, I never watched the show, the Freemaker series. I don't know. But I know this character was in that as well. And I just know him from Rebels. And when I saw that he was for sale by this one guy, I got a really good trade for him. I traded a, um, you guys can be the judge of it. <laughs> I traded a Cloud City Han Solo as well as the OG Han Solo and Carbonite. Both of those figures for this one. I thought that was a pretty good deal, especially considering I have both those figures already have duplicates of like, I have like three other Hans and Carbonites and I already have another Bespin Han. So I was happy to trade both of those to get this brand new figure, especially cause he is on the pricier side. He's averaging about 60 bucks, maybe more depending on who you talk to. Uh, so I was really happy to get him. I wasn't sure I would even find him like ever. Okay, for the grand finale of the last three figures I got at Brick Fair this year, they are as follows. And they kind of all three go together because they are very expensive and very rare. So, <clears throat> first we have the Ithorian Jedi Master. He's only from one set. Very cool figure, very nice, very uh, no cracks or anything. He was about fifty dollars, and uh, I really want him though because I'm really trying to complete my Jedi collection. But guess what? There's more. There is also Pong Krell, and he was seventy dollars. <laughs> and I was trying to talk to the vendor for the longest time ever about like how to figure this out with him for a trade. And it was so hard to figure it out. I was there for like at least a good two hours trying to figure out what would be fair, what to work with. And eventually I figured out that I had a other spare Sabine. Not this one, but the other one with the orange hair. And I was like, all right, I give you that Sabine plus $30 to get Pong Krell. And he was like, all right, I think that's a fair deal. So that's how I got him eventually. And it, I'm very happy that I got him because he was the other, the other one of the remaining Jedis that I needed. So there's two Jedis down, and the very last Jedi I needed in the entire Jedi collection is right here. Yes, this beautiful, beautiful Jedi Counselor who usually goes for about $150. I traded her for the Light Up Luminara, which I showed in my other previous haul video. I, uh... fixed it, actually. I got... It was broken when I got it, but then I, I was able to fix the battery. So she went up from, like, you know... 30 bucks being broken to like, you know, 150 being perfect and working in mint condition. So I was like, hey man, let's do a trade. Luminara for Consular, huh? What do you think? What do you say? Pretty good, right? I mean, they look pretty similar, right? One's black and one's white. <laughs> Same kind of outfit. And he was like, you know what? Yep, that's a, that's a square, square fair deal. Let's do it. So it was one for one. And I was so happy that he agreed to it because I really, really wanted this figure. She's absolutely gorgeous. I can totally use these, um, like this torso and these legs for like a custom. I was thinking of making maybe like one of the uh, one of the Jedi, um, one of the uh, Jedi guardians from Rebels, like with like the really cool masks. I was thinking like they have like a similar outfit. So I was like thinking maybe one of those one of those Temple Guardians. So I'm really happy I got this one. It's such a unique looking Jedi compared to all the other ones. So. That is all the stuff I got from Brick Fair. It was a very successful haul. I'm very happy with it. And as a bonus, 
we got this package to look at. So let's open that really quick because this was something that I was trying to get at Brick Fair, but I didn't because that no one in the entire place was selling this figure. And I was sad about that. So, here we go. If you guys can tell who it is. He's a rare one. He's only in one set. So, keep that in mind when you see him. Got to be sure he's like authentic and stuff. So this is an unboxing video to see what he is. Bam. Commander Sato from also Rebels. So he's pals of Sabine. <laughs> All right. Let's see here if I can open this. She taped the uh, bag shut, which is unusual. So let me try to undo that. Okay. All right, let's check him out. Let's check him out. This is the last thing. Then you guys can go on to your lives. All right. Bam. Commander Sato. All right, let's see. Moment of truth. If he's authentic. All righty. I'm like getting totally silent now because I don't even know if this is real myself. This is totally intense, man. And looks like a Lego logo. We have a Lego logo. He's got that gorgeous double-sided face. All right, let's see if he's got the peg. He's, this should be easy. If he's got the head, then he should have the peg. Bam! Lego, logo. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And the legs are actually just nougat, but we can look at these anyway, just for fun. Lego, and Lego, Lego. All right. I love this character in the show. I love the, um, the outfit. Everything about him is super, super cool. And I love the voice actor, too. He's actually, fun fact, the same voice actor who does um, <laughs> a character from... Uh, uh, oh, man, why am I blanking on the name? Uh, Deadwood. Yeah. He's um, the cool Asian guy in Deadwood. And I totally forget that character's name. But uh, he's with Swear Engine, uh, Ian McShane. And <laughs> he does a great job in that show and in this show with Rebels. So I was really happy to get him. And he was only 40 bucks off of uh, eBay. So that, that, I thought that was a pretty fair deal. Pretty fair, pretty square deal. So this is the entire haul of Brick Fair plus Commander Sato. That is going to do it for this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel if you dig this. And alrighty then, head on a spike out.